welcome to a video on using GoodNotes, an example that I will provide for you. Um, in this video, I will show you how I personally use GoodNotes to annotate my class notes while I'm teaching. So once you have the GoodNotes app up and you're in the document that you want to annotate, so I'll go to this one right here, um, I use two of my fingers to zoom into a particular problem. So I put my fingers on and kind of spread the page apart and then move the page while I'm zooming um, to where I want it to show. Um, when I zoom in, the students can really focus on that one problem, and it also helps my handwriting appear neater or more clear. I tend to change colors each step I go through, and student feedback has been very positive on this use of colors. It can also be easy for them to refer back to a certain step based on the color. Um, I also use a palm rest feature, which is at the bottom. So once you click on the pen, you will notice that this palm rest appears, and using this tab at the left, you can bring this up or down, and this will allow you to rest your hand or palm on the iPad while you're in the writing mode, and yet not write in that area. So um, let me show you how I will go through this, and I'll do that with number two. So I'm going to click the eyeglasses, and I'm going to span over to number two just by using my stylus and, and holding it over and moving it over to the left. Um, and I'll zoom in as much or as little as I need to. And I like to zoom in when I'm in the eyeglasses because even if I don't put equal pressure on both fingers, I know I will be zooming and not writing. And now I'll click the pen so that I'm in the writing mode. And I'm going to click the pen again and choose blue for my first color. I don't necessarily know why. And again, I'm in the pen feature, so I can move this palm rest up or down as far as I want to. And I will just show my first step here. And then I'll click the pen again to change colors. So now I'll click the red. And then I'll click the pen again to go to green. And you can kind of get the idea. I'll move my pen rest down. I also tend to zoom and change so that I'm writing in the top of my screen. That's just me personally. I'll click the pen again to change colors. And I'll finish my problem here. And maybe I'll finish in blue. And I usually will box my answer, and I will click the highlighter, and I'm in a green highlighter because there are other things that were typed in here that had a yellow highlighter, so I'll click the green highlighter when I'm done. When I am done with a problem, it's almost default for me to click the eyeglasses because then I can move the page around or do what I need to do, and if I want to write again, then I usually click the pen again to write. So you can see one and two are now done, and as you can see, I have other examples here on this page already completed. Um, so when this prints, you can kind of tell now that my handwriting is approximately the same size as the text or typed font. So when it is printed, it will look the same. It won't look out of place or anything like that, um, and students have found that to be really helpful. When you write, let's see if I can do this here. I'm just going to leave it you know, in this sort of page view where you can see everything. And now when I write, it's very difficult for me to write, number one, neatly. And number two, it's hard for me to write small. That's going to appear much larger than the font that's typed when you print that out or when you view that in a regular screen. So again, I try to zoom in on those areas instead. Um, don't forget there might be a page two, so once you click on your eyeglasses, you can always scroll over until you see that page two. And again, you can use your fingers to zoom in or zoom out on any area that you would like. Um, and also in a mathematics classroom, don't forget about the shape recognition. So here's your shape recognition in the top um, left third of your toolbar. And what that does is, let's say I want to write, so now I'm going to click the pen, a right triangle it will make the triangle a lot neater than my original one was. The only, I guess, issue with this is when you want to go back to regular writing, you need to click that shape recognition again so that you're off of the shape format. Um, 
When I am done, I normally upload or export this document to the student's website, like WebAssign, MathAS, Canvas, etc., so they can view it and use it accordingly via my Dropbox or SkyDrive account. And there's a whole other video on how to export or upload these documents to your Dropbox, SkyDrive, etc. Um, I hope you find this video helpful when you're using your GoodNotes app in your classroom.